So, welcome to lecture series on matrix analysis with applications. So, today we will discuss about spatial matrices, okay. what spatial matrices are and how we can find out eigenvalues of spatial matrices, what are the important uh, characteristic properties they are having. So, first matrix is symmetric matrix. So, a square matrix A of order n is said to be symmetric if A is equal to A transpose. Uh, transpose means you interchange rows and columns and if, if interchanging rows and columns the matrix will remain unchanged that means matrix is symmetric then we say the matrix is symmetric. For example, you see this matrix if you interchange rows and columns ok. So, this matrix is uh, you can find that A transpose is equal to A. If you see this matrix, so these two elements are not same that is A is not equal to A transpose here. So, this matrix is not symmetric. So, we can always construct a symmetric matrix like this suppose you are having a A matrix you you can arbitrarily put any uh, any uh, diagonal elements if it is 4 here, 4 here, 5 here, 5 here say 7 here, minus 7 here, minus 7 here. So, if you find its transpose, so it is always uh, 1, 4, 5 you interchange these rows and columns 4 to minus 7, 5 minus 7, 3. So, you can easily see that uh, A transpose is equal to A. So, we can say that A is a symmetric matrix. Okay. Now, what are properties of symmetric matrices? Any real symmetric matrix, real means all entries are real. Okay has only real eigenvalues. Suppose matrix is symmetric that is A is equals to A transpose and matrix of order n cross n. Now, we know that any matrix A uh, uh, matrix may have uh, uh, complex roots also I mean complex eigenvalues also, but if it is a real symmetric matrix it always have only real eigenvalues how we can prove it. So, the proof is simple you can see here let us suppose A x equal to lambda x and x is not equal to 0. Okay. So, that means A has an eigenvalue lambda and the corresponding eigenvector is x. Now, you take uh, bar both the sides bar means conjugate Con how you can find the conjugate of a matrix you simply find conjugate of each element of the matrix that will be A bar and is equal to lambda bar x bar. You can take conjugate both the sides. Now, you take transpose both the sides. So, it is conjugate whole transpose is equal to lambda bar x bar whole transpose. So, this implies x bar transpose a bar transpose is equal to lambda bar x bar transpose. Lambda is a lambda bar is a scalar. So, uh, its transpose will be itself. Now, since uh, A is a real matrix, so A bar will be itself. So, we can write is equal to x bar transpose A is equals to lambda bar x bar transpose, okay. A, A transpose and A transpose is A because A is symmetric. So, this implies x bar transpose A is equals to lambda bar x bar transpose. Now, you, mul now, you, now you multiply both sides by uh, post multiplied both sides by vector x. So, this is x bar transpose A x is equals to lambda bar x bar transpose x. Now, this A x is lambda x this we have already taken. So, it is lambda x lambda bar transpose lambda x lambda bar x bar transpose x. So, this implies lambda can be taken out so, lambda minus lambda bar times x bar transpose x is equal to 0. Now, if if x is this vector x 1 x 2 up to x n then x bar transpose will be x 1 bar x 2 bar and so on up to x n bar and what will be x bar transpose x this will be uh, mod x 1 square because x 1 bar into x 1 which is mod x 1 is square plus mod x 2 square and so on up to mod x n square and it is not equal to 0 since uh, x is not equal to 0. It will be 0 only when all x i is are 0 and all x i equal to 0 means x equal to 0, but x is not equal to 0. 
So, that means this is not equal to 0. Now, this is not equal to 0, this means uh, lambda minus lambda bar is equal to 0 because product of these two is equal to 0. So, this implies lambda equal to lambda bar. And if uh, number and is equal to its conjugate, that means lambda is purely real, lambda is real. So, we have taken an arbitrary lambda for an symmetric matrix A and we have shown that lambda is real that means all eigenvalues are real or for a symmetric matrix. So, this is the first property of symmetric matrix that eigenvalues are always real. The next property is it is always diagonalizable that means if you have a, any real symmetric matrix A then you can always find an invertible matrix P such that A P is equals to P D if A is symmetric always. Next is it has orthogonal eigenvectors using the second property is it easy to show you see because we know that every symmetric matrix is always every real symmetric matrix is always diagonalizable uh, that means uh, if A is a real symmetric matrix. then then uh, A is diagonalizable, always diagonalizable. Okay. Now, that means uh, this implies there exists an invertible matrix P, invertible matrix P such that such that A P equal to P D or a is equals to P D P nodes, where D is D are the these are the diagonal values of I mean eigen values of A, which are all real. This we have already seen because A is symmetric. Okay. Now, now uh, now you can take transpose both the sides because uh, uh, because A is symmetric, so it is P D P inverse whole transpose. This is equal to A, A transpose is equal to A because uh, A is real symmetric matrix and it is P inverse transpose D transpose P transpose. It is P transpose whole inverse D transpose is D itself because it is a diagonal matrix and it is P transpose and A is nothing but P D P inverse. So, it is P D P inverse is equal to this. So, from here we can conclude that one of the one of the conclusion from here is P inverse is equals to P transpose or P transpose P is equal to identity. Okay. Now, now what is P? P is simply a matrix of eigenvectors. We have already seen the construction of such P's. So, so what is P? P is uh, simply x1, x2 up to xn. These are eigenvector corresponding to lambda 1, lambda 2 up to lambda n. So, what is P transpose P? It will be uh, it will be x 1 in this row, x 2 in this row up to x n in this row and this is x 1 in this column and so on up to x n in this column. Okay. So, so what, what is it is equal to? You see this row, this column when you multiply this row this column this is nothing but norm of x 1 square. Okay. When you multiply this row with this column this will be nothing but uh, x 1 uh, transpose x 2 and similarly it is x 1 transpose x n, x n transpose uh, x 1, x n transpose x 2 and so on up to x n norm square and this is equal to identity this we have shown. This equal to identity means uh, all uh, norms of all the vectors are is equal to 1 and all other entries are 0. That means, vector, that means eigen vectors are orthogonal. In fact, also normal. Okay. It, it is simply means that uh, x i transpose x j is equal to 0 if i not equal to j and it is 1 when i equal to j. So, that means this set x 1, x 2 up to x n this set is orthonormal. 
So, hence we can say that they has orthogonal eigenvectors or if it is orthonormal then it is orthogonal also. Okay. So, these are the property of similar matrices. Now, next is skew symmetric matrix. A square matrix A of order n is said to be skew symmetric matrix if A transpose is equal to minus A. Okay. Suppose you see this matrix, if you take A transpose of this matrix, it is simply equal to minus of A. So, hence this matrix is uh, skew symmetric. However, this matrix is not skew symmetric because uh, if when you take uh, minus A transpose, it is not equal to minus of A for this problem, minus of B. Okay. So, what are properties of uh, skew symmetric matrix? Let us see. Now, for skew symmetric A transpose is equals to minus A, A is uh, n cross n skew symmetric. Okay. Now, if A is skew symmetric, the first property is that if n is odd, order the matrix is odd, then determinant of A is 0 if A is skew symmetric. Uh, proof is simple, you can see here A transpose equal to minus A, this implies determinant of A transpose is equal to determinant of minus A. This implies determinant of A transpose is same as determinant of A and determinant of minus 1 minus, uh, minus uh, times A is minus 1 raised to power n into determinant of A. So, if n is odd, then minus 1 raised to power n will be minus 1. So, determinant of A will be minus determinant of A and this implies determinant of A is equal to 0. So, the first property is that uh, a skew symmetric matrix of odd order has 0 determinant or any skew symmetric matrix of order odd of odd order is always singular the first property. Now, second property is skew symmetric matrix all the eigenvalues of the skew symmetric matrix are either 0 or purely imaginary. How we can prove this? So, let us see the proof. Now, A transpose is equals to minus A, A is n cross n skew symmetric matrix. So, A x equal to lambda x take A x equal to lambda x, x is not equal to 0. Again take bar both the sides take transpose both the sides. So, taking transpose we get uh, this expression. Okay. Now, since A is a we are uh, we are taking A as a real uh, skew symmetric matrix for this uh, case. So, x bar transpose it is A, A transpose lambda bar x bar transpose this implies x bar transpose A transpose is minus A. So, it is minus of A is equals to lambda bar x bar transpose mul post multiply both side by vector x. This implies A x equal to lambda x you can substitute here and this implies lambda bar plus lambda times uh, x bar transpose x is equal to 0 and x bar transpose x is not equal to 0 this we have already shown in the last proof. So, the, uh, as uh, x bar transpose x is not equal to 0. So, this implies lambda bar plus lambda equal to 0 or lambda is equal to minus lambda bar and this implies either lambda equal to 0 or purely imaginary. Okay. So, for a real skew symmetric matrix eigenvalues are either 0 or purely imaginary. So, these are second property for skew symmetric matrix. Okay. So, uh, okay. the first property is here the elements of the main diagonal of a skew symmetric matrix are 0 and therefore, uh, its trace is also 0. Uh, this is very easy to show. You see that uh, if, if a matrix is a skew symmetric matrix then A i i that is a diagonal element, diagonal element A 1 1, A 2 2, A 3 3 and so on, it will be equal to minus of A i i because uh, A transpose equal to minus of A for all i 
and this implies a i i equal to 0 for all i. This means diagonal elements of a skew symmetric matrix are all or all are all 0 and hence the trace is also 0 because trace is nothing but sum of diagonal elements. The next property we have shown that each eigenvalue of a real symmetric matrix A is either 0 or purely imaginary. Now, if A is a real symmetric matrix then determinant of A is always greater equal to 0. This is again easy to show because, uh, because we have shown that eigenvalues of uh, eigenvalues of uh, uh, skew symmetric matrix real skew symmetric matrix are either 0 or purely imaginary. Okay. If one of the eigenvalue is 0, so determinant will be 0 because uh, determinant is nothing but product of eigenvalues. Okay. So, so, A has eigenvalues uh, like 0 plus minus alpha i plus minus beta i like this the eigenvalues of A if A is a skew symmetric matrix. So, if uh, 0 is one of the eigenvalue then the product will be 0 that means uh, determinant is 0. If uh, 0 is not an eigenvalue, suppose eigenvalues are plus minus alpha i plus minus beta i types. So, if 0 is not the eigenvalue of, uh, uh, of a matrix skew symmetric matrix A, then the eigenvalues are of the, are, are of the types plus minus alpha i plus minus beta i plus minus gamma i or so on. And determinant of A will be nothing but product of eigenvalues. So, if you multiply these two it will be alpha i minus alpha i. So, product will be alpha square similarly product of this will be beta square product of this will be gamma square. So, product of uh, I mean eigenvalues will be something like this. So, we can say that determinant of A will be greater than or equal to 0 because complex roots always exist in pairs any real skew symmetric matrix of order of odd order has determinant 0 that we have already seen. Now, Hermitian matrix a complex square matrix A is said to be Hermitian if it is equal to its own conjugate transpose that is uh, A A conjugate transpose is equal to A. So, let us see this example suppose it is uh, uh, for the Hermitian matrix we have seen that uh, A we have seen that it is uh, A conjugate transpose is equal to A. The first most property for this matrix is you see that A i i which are diagonal elements uh, conjugate should be equal to A i i for all i. So, this implies A i i for all i's are real. So, the first more property of Hermitian matrix is that uh, the diagonal elements must be real. It is a complex matrix, but for Hermitian matrix all diagonal elements must be real. So, you take this example suppose it is 1, it is uh, 2 plus 3 iota, it is 2 minus 3 iota and suppose 4. When you take the conjugate of this, conjugate is 1, conjugate is 1, conjugate of this is 2 minus 3 iota, conjugate of this 2 plus 3 iota and 4. Now, when you take transpose of this, it is 1, 2 minus 3 iota, row will go to column 2 plus 3 iota and 4, so which is equal to A. So, we can say that this matrix is a Hermitian matrix. Now, the next property of Hermitian matrix is all eigenvalues of Hermitian matrix are real. The proof follows on the same lines as we did for symmetric matrix. You take A x equal to lambda x, okay, the proof is same. You can see uh, here we are having A bar transpose equal to A. Okay. So, A x equal to lambda x you can take here x is not equal to 0 take bar both the sides take transpose both the sides and replace A bar transpose by A. X bar transpose A is equal to lambda bar lambda bar transpose it is X bar transpose A x equals to lambda bar X bar transpose X x bar transpose it is lambda x and it is lambda bar x bar transpose x. So, this implies uh, lambda minus lambda bar into x bar transpose x equal to 0 and since this is not equal to 0. So, this implies lambda equal to lambda bar. So, hence, uh, uh, hence all eigenvalues of Hermitian matrix are real. So, uh, 
the properties are of Hermitian matrices, the diagonal element of Hermitian matrix are necessarily real. All eigenvalues of Hermitian matrix of order n are all real. Now, the inverse of an invertible Hermitian matrix is also Hermitian. Okay. You can see the proof, proof is very easy. You see here, here a trans uh, a conjugate transpose is equal to a because a is Hermitian. We have to show that uh, if a if this matrix is invertible, if this matrix a is invertible, determinant of a is not equal to 0, then a inverse is also Hermitian. So, a inverse Hermitian means uh, for a inverse also for if b is a inverse then uh, b bar transpose uh, is also equal to b this this we have to show so you can take uh, b bar transpose b bar transpose is uh, a inverse uh, whole bar and transpose which is same as a bar inverse whole into transpose which is same as a bar transpose whole inverse this is by the properties of matrices okay and a bar uh, transpose is a because a is Hermitian. So, it is a, a inverse and this is nothing but b. So, we have shown that b is equal to b bar transpose that means inverse of uh, Hermitian matrix if a is invertible is also Hermitian. Now, the product of two Hermitian matrices a and b is Hermitian if and only if a b is equal to b a and thus a raised to power n is Hermitian if a is Hermitian and n is a positive integer. So, let us try to prove this the second proof is follows on this. So, product of two Hermitian matrices is Hermitian this we have to show if and only if a b equal to b a. So, let us let us take a and b two Hermitian matrices okay. two Hermitian matrices that means a bar transpose equal to a and b bar transpose equal to b. So, we have to show that a b a b a into b is also Hermitian if a b equal to b a. So, let us take this whole transpose and try to show that if a b equal to b a then this is equal to a b. So, so, this is equals to a bar b bar whole transpose and this is equals to b bar transpose a bar transpose and this is equals to b into a because a and b are Hermitian matrices and a b is equals to b a. So, this is equals to a b. So, we have shown that product of two Hermitian matrices is also Hermitian if uh, if a and b if a b equal to b a. Similarly, we can show that uh, b a whole bar is transpose is equals to b a same lines. Now, now the converse part now let us suppose this is Hermitian that is this is equal to this and we have to show that a b equal to b a ok the second part. So, to show this part so, so this implies uh, a bar b bar whole transpose is equals to a b and this implies uh, b bar transpose a bar transpose is equals to a b and b bar transpose is b and this is a so it is equals to a b. So, we have shown that uh, this is equal to this. So, hence we can show hence we can if we substitute b equal to a then a square I mean a square is always equal to a square. So, that means uh, a square is also Hermitian if a is Hermitian ok and similarly a cube similarly a raised to power 4. So, this proof we can simply get. So, so that means uh, if a is Hermitian then any power any positive power of a is also Hermitian. Now, for a skew Hermitian matrix a uh, matrix with complex entries is called skew Hermitian if uh, a conjugate transpose is equal to minus of a. So, what are the properties of the skew Hermitian matrices? You see here a bar transpose is equal to minus a that means uh, first of diagonal elements. So, this is equal to minus of a a i i for all i and this means uh, a i i i other a i i for all i are either 0 or purely imaginary ok. The first most point for uh, for uh, skew Hermitian matrix the first property. The second property is all eigenvalues of skew Hermitian matrices are either 0 or purely imaginary the proof we can easily obtain ok following the same as we did for skew symmetric matrix. Okay. 
Next is if A is a skew Hermitian matrix, then uh, iota A and minus iota A are Hermitian. So, this is easy to show. You see uh, A is a skew Hermitian that means this is equals to minus A. You take B1 is equals to iota A and uh, B2 is equals to minus iota A. So, if you take B1 conjugate transpose, so it is minus iota whole conjugate transpose. So, it is iota conjugate and A conjugate whole transpose. So, conjugate of iota is minus iota and it is 8 bar transpose and A bar transpose is minus A because A is a skew Hermitian it is given to us. So, it is iota A which is B which is B 1. So, we have shown that B 1 is Hermitian matrix. So, similarly we can proceed for B 2 if you take B 2 bar transpose. So, it is uh, minus iota A bar transpose. So, this is minus iota bar A bar transpose minus iota bar is iota and this is A bar transpose is minus of A because A is skew Hermitian. So, it is equal to minus of B 2. So, it is equal to B 2. So, we have shown that B 2 is uh, Hermitian matrix. So, if A is skew A is uh, I mean Hermitian A is skew Hermitian then iota A and minus iota A is are Hermitian matrices. So, here we have seen some of the important matrices like uh, symmetric matrices skew symmetric matrix, Hermitian matrix and skew Hermitian matrices and we have seen some of the important properties of these spatial matrices. In the next lecture we will see some more spatial matrices like orthogonal matrices, unitary matrices etcetera and their properties. So, thank you.